How about uh, what happened down in Jacksonville, AJ? Man, who how about what, what happened? Uh, What's this guy 20, doing down there? How does he do that? How, that's a lot of money for so when it, $2 million? You got to think with yep. these billion-dollar operations, whenever you're just skimming a little bit off the top, you know what I mean? Now, granted, in the modern era, and this goes out to everybody that's potentially dealing with other people's money on a regular basis, in the modern era, everything's getting tracked. So, like, you, pigs get fed, hogs get slaughtered. Old statement. Boom. I think you could have got away with a little bit. $22 million, mm-hmm. though. At some point, somebody's going to catch you. Amit Patel is the name of the man that was so doing is this. that one for you, two for me, one for Is that what he's doing? <laughs> so, allegedly, there was something happening potentially in a franchise in Indiana, similar, where an oh. advertising person was potentially just saying, oh, this deal, uh, documenting the deal, let's say it's worth 55000 just like whenever, you know, cops find eight ounces sure, of weed. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it actually 10, you know, and then two disappear? So is this deal worth 50000 or is it worth 60000 Well, it's worth 50000 Good deal. Where'd that 10000 go? Well, it never existed. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just classic accounting that has kind of taken place. And I think that is pretty much what this guy was doing. I didn't read the entire story. I don't know it. But that's classic skim. That's a classic skim job, if I do recall, Tosh, man. Yeah, pretty much. He uh, he worked in, the uh, in like, the financial department, and, and the Jags have a deal where it's, like, only certain people have access to the the company mm-hmm. credit card, but it's not actually a physical card. It's just like a if you have access, you can use it whenever you want to. And just like you said, I think he was just fudging numbers and kind of siphoning a decent amount uh, into his personal account and then putting different things in like the balance sheet. I think he came out and said that most of it was to cover gambling losses, but then also in the article it mentioned like he Damn, bought this guy sucks. Yeah, yeah. He, he bought a luxury condo. He was using it to like charter private flights. He bought a country club membership at like a very nice uh, country club down there. Bought a new car. Bought like you know was buying watches. Like certainly wasn't trying to hide the fact that he was doing it. So I think it was probably you know only a matter of time before he ended up getting caught. Yeah, the fact that he was able to get $22 million skimmed off the top is what's crazy to me. Yeah. No Pretty one good caught scam. him. Yeah. No Pretty one catches scam. him before. So, Mr. Patel, good luck with everything moving forward with that. 